Well, hello, 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 everyone out there in Tarot Land. This is your girl Zengaya, the Zen Libran, and welcome, welcome, welcome to my channel, Narcissistic Abuse Tarot. How y'all doing out there? Y'all doing good? This day being good to y'all so far? It's being beneficial to you? Yeah, you gotta live every day till it's fullest. You know what I'm saying? Get everything you can out of the day. You know? Because time waits for nothing. That's that music. You know what I'm saying? Um, well, you know, guys, this is the Goddess Channel. Um, I'm all about women empowerment. I'm all about elevating the woman back to her goddess status. I'm all about getting a woman back on her throne where she belongs. This earth is in misery and pain. Mother Earth is crying out to all the divine feminines to return to the throne. So we've been summoned, ladies. So it's time for us to get back on the throne. The matriarch is on the rise. The patriarch has ripped through this planet with his toxic Luciferian energy. <coughs> It's time, ladies. It's time. We have to take our place. It's time. It's destiny. All right? Of course, I'm here for you guys as usual. And I'm here today to do a general collective reading for the zodiac sign of Pisces. My water sign can be emotionally manipulative. They have this skill to tap into your uh, emotions. Um, and it depends on the Pisces. If they're um, high vibing or low, they can use that talent. And it depends on them for what agenda. Okay? What is going on with my Pisces? <coughs> what is going on with my Pisces? Pisces, this is you or someone is doing this to you. Someone has been trying to organize and plan to catch you before you take off, before you take flight, before you take off, before you elevate, before you become the star that you are. They're trying to organize and plan to stop you or how they can trap you um, <clears throat> from basically your destiny. Because this is your time for you to elevate, for you to take off, for you to be um, the person that you were sent here to be, to live in your life purpose. And they're trying to stop that. They're doing everything um, in the spiritual realm. They could be doing things supernaturally just to irritate you. You know what I'm saying? I mean, they're doing all type of obscure things, you know what I'm saying? Just to irritate you and disturb you, but, you know, to play with your psyche because they don't want you to elevate. They don't want you to reach your destiny. They don't want you to become what you are meant to be. Now, this is you, Pisces, doing this, or someone is doing this to a Pisces, okay? You just plug it in wherever it fits, you know, you, you, you know, take it as it resonates, okay? But that's what's going on with my Pisces. And of course, you know, I'm all about the woman. I speak from the woman's aspect. And I pull from the feminine energy. And the feminine energy that I pull today to help me deliver this message to my Pisces is Ayazan. Ayazan is here giving us the energy of miracles. Yeah, someone has been trying to bind you to them. You know what I'm saying? Bind you in a commitment. Trap you in a commitment that you don't want to be in. But you've triumphed. And on, the only reason they're trying to trap you in a commitment is because you're having blessings coming your way. Prosperity. Miracles are happening in your life. And this person wants to be alone for the ride. But you're the empress. You know what I'm saying? So you need your emperor. And this person is definitely not. This is Ayazan giving us the energy of miracles. <clears throat> Trying to stop somebody from reaching their destiny. How demonic are you? So they're going against the divine. You know what I'm saying? You're going against the divine if you're doing this. You're not hurting this particular individual, this divine feminine. You are going against the divine. So are you ready for the repercussions of that? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Are you ready for the repercussions of that? 
This is a feminine that is strong, powerful, in control of her life. You know what I'm saying? This is a feminine that is stable and is going to always be stable. She has creative power. And it says, as I invest in my own creative potential, I experience my female creative genius. Yeah, she's investing in herself. You know what I'm saying? And she's just understanding how powerful she is, how great of a creatrix that she is. You know what I'm saying? This feminine stayed optimistic. She held on to her dreams, even though these people, a person is attacking her in the spirit. You know what I'm saying? Um, and she, she uh, survived the disaster. And these people, a person is frustrated that this feminine survived the disaster. All the toxicity they've sent her away, she, divide, she, she survived it. She survived it all. And these people, a person is frustrated. Yeah, they frustrated. <laughs> these people is crazy. You know what I'm saying? This feminine, she minded her own business. She stayed at home. You know, she stayed devoted and committed to her craft. Stayed in contact with her ancestors, did her meditation, drank a lot of water, did her protection rituals. You know what I'm saying? She stayed true to it. She just took care of her family, loving her family, making sure they are right. You know what I'm saying? She has somebody that she's uh, coupled up with. This could be a person that she's married to or in a commitment to or getting ready to get married. But this is a strong commitment, you know, and um, they've been going. They've been they've been holding on. You know, they've been staying devoted and committed. And this feminine is not worried about anything. You know what I'm saying? The universe is telling her not to worry about anything. You know what I'm saying? She strategized. And you know what her strategy was? Three. That has a lot to do with communication. Okay? She spoke out. She let people know what these people or persons was doing to her in the spirit behind the scenes. She spoke out. And by her speaking out she ended this attack, this spiritual attack that these people or person was doing to her. And now we have detectives out here. There's an investigation going on. You know what I'm saying? And people got proof of um, what this person or people were doing to this divine feminine. See, that's what I'm saying. That's what I say about Chris Brown and Jamie Foxx. And y'all got to speak out. Martin Lawrence, y'all got to speak out. You know what I'm saying? But they don't want to speak out because they scared of what they're going to lose. You know what I'm saying? But man, you got to have faith that the divine is going to be with you. You know what I'm saying? You got to have faith that when you speak out, when you tell your truth and you walk righteously, that you're going to be okay. That's what the demon, that's what this Luciferian energy feeds out for fear. You don't need fear. You need faith. And this feminine had faith and she didn't give a damn. She wasn't scared of them. She got faith in the divine and she spoke out and told every little wicked thing that these people were trying to do to her. And by doing this, none of this affected her. None of this affected her. Okay. And now look at her. These people are trapped. This is a mason. I'm going to turn it right side up so y'all can see them. This is a fucking Mason, okay? A group of Masons were attacking this feminine, this divine feminine, but it's over for their ass because she spoke out and told what these bastards were doing to her, okay? And now they trapped, you know what I'm saying? They trapped, they stuck now, and they getting everything they fucking deserve, karma. They getting everything they fucking deserve. They earned this. And they're getting everything they fucking deserve. We got a whole damn group of Masons attacking the Divine Feminine. But she told. She wasn't scared and she spoke out against their raggedy ass. How dare you? Yeah, look. Look at these applehead, moon-faced bitches over here. It was a coven. The Masons and the Eastern Stars, a coven. Look at their lips all pursed, like they had their lips kissing up somebody's ass all day. They tramps, they're harlots. They let these men do any and everything to them. 
They jealous as hell. They jealous as hell of this feminine because she's not a whore like they are. These are Jezebels, succubuses. And y'all, you be, be, be careful trying to join these sororities and these fraternities, man. Y'all need to do your research on uh, what, what they stand for. You know what I'm saying? I'm not saying all of them wicked, but damn, what, what's the foundation? Why were they created? What were they created for? These are demonic people that's happening out here. Yeah, they thought they was going to hand you over as a gift to this demonic angel that they worship. They were going to sacrifice this divine feminine. They was going to have a ceremony. They doing spell work and do magic on her. They have a fucking altar over, o over there with this feminine pictures and stuff on it. Very low vibing people. Toxic. Sexual sex deviance. This whole Eastern Star, this whole Masons that that's doing this to the divine feminine. I'm not gonna blame everybody in the organization, but you got some fucked up ones over here. You got some fucked up Eastern stars and some fucked up Masons that are trying to sacrifice a divine feminine. All out of jealousy. And this pimp over here. This bastard here, he the one that set him up to it. This him and his hoes. This him and his hoes. Dracula and his bitches. Frankenstein and, and the brides of Frankenstein. Sitting up here doing, trying, doing spell work on this feminine. Was going to sacrifice his hub. Was going to hand her over as a fucking gift to this demonic entity that they fucking worship. These people are the scum of the earth. They are the scum of the earth. And now they over here running around looking all crazy and stuff. But it's too late now. It's too late now. It's too late. It's too late now. They scrumming around looking crazy. You know, they scrumming around looking crazy and they stressed out over there. Because they know that they probably cause injury to this divine feminine. And they know that the cycle has ended and she has survived. And now they scared. You know what I'm saying? Of what they did because of what they did to this divine feminine. And they being cautious because they know that they're in danger. Because of the injury that they caused to this divine feminine. Which is a chosen one. And you can't fuck with a chosen one. And they did. These Easter stars and this fucking, this, this mason over here, these masons. This pimp and his hoes. Frankenstein and his brides. Dracula and his bitches. Yeah, they stressed out now because they fighting a losing battle, baby. They fighting a losing battle. Mm-hmm. They fighting a losing battle over there. And now they cursed. The whole fucking organization. Everybody that had any hand in doing harm to this divine feminine, they are cursed. Mm-hmm. They cursed. I'll tell you, boy. You know. And they going to jail. They going to jail. They going to jail. They going to jail. It's a couple over there that's going to jail. It's a couple over there that's going to jail. They had a hand in doing this. They orchestrate, orchestrated this. They're going to jail. Okay. This is ridiculous. But this is real. This is what narcissists do, ladies. That's why, ladies, we got we got we got to nip this in the bud. We got to start loving ourselves and nurture that guys within, so we can get back on our throne. This is what these narcissists are doing. They're sacrificing divine feminines. Sh Shanquilla Robinson, Kanika Jenkins, you know, plenty more. This is what they do. Whitney Houston. This is what they do. They offer them up. 
They offer their energy up. They pure divine energy, that Shakti, to this demon that they, this Luciferian energy, this entity that they worship. This fallen angel that they worship. A whole damn coven over here. A whole damn organization of masons and eastern stars going up against this one damn feminine. But she's speaking out on their ass. And you know, they narcissistic. And you know, narcissistics, they, narcissists, they don't like shame. And when you speak out, you put their ass in shame. And they run, you know. But this feminine is highly protected. She's highly protected. She's chosen. She's a divine feminine. And that's why she got miracles coming in her life. And these people... Is or going to be a fucking plate. They finna be served. It's they ass. Apple head bitches. Moon face bitches. Booty, booty licking ass bitches. You know what I'm saying? This was somebody. This, this pimp over here. This was somebody that this divine feminine had an uh, etheric cord with. You know what I'm saying? She has some type of energy... Um, with this bastard, you know what I'm saying? And this bastard, y'all, is, 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 is a church. He's we, we, with the church. Do y'all hear what the hell I'm saying? That's these masons that's in this damn church. They teach y'all about Jesus, but then they go down in the basement and they do spell work and sacrifice people and sacrifice animals and worship demons, and you know what I'm saying? But then they call themselves Christians, okay? I love Jesus. I'm telling you, y'all, these church people are the most fucking wickedest people that walk the face of this fucking earth. And they tried to offer this divine feminine up because she has pure energy. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. This bastard, knowing that they have an etheric cord, he's trying to implant things into her dreams. You know what I'm saying? Trying to go in her dreams. You know what I'm saying? That's what they do. But they teach you that... Doing things like this magic and stuff is demonic. Don't go toward it. But then they go and they do the damn thing that they tell you to go against. They full of shit. This religious, religious people are full of shit. Okay? But you know, this feminine, she's a wise one. She's not no fucking kid. This could be a woman uh, anywhere from um, 35 and up. You know what I'm saying? She's, she's very wise. You know what I'm saying? And she grew from this situation. You know what I'm saying? She's very smart. You know what I'm saying? She, he's, he's very intelligent. You know what I'm saying? And you know what? She's a fucking earth angel. She's an earth angel. And this religious bastard, this people in this church that's demonic, that sacrifice people, that has altars putting people on them, giving them up to demons. This is what church people do. And if you look on my channel, the code and the spells, I broke down the word church and church means cursed. You curse yourself when you go up in there and the people that run it are cursed. They're demonic. They are demonic. And this bastard trying to come in this feminine's dreams and implant things in her dreams. This could have Sagittarius uh, prominent in his chart. Could be his rising sign on his north node. This is somebody in a church, y'all. This is somebody in a fucking church. These fucking masons and the eastern stars, these freaks. Behind the scene, drinking blood, drinking semen. Freaks, drinking urine. Sex parties. Swingers, threesomes, foursomes, group sex. Sex magic. Animal sacrifice. Walk around howling at the moon, butt naked like wolves. They doing all this. But these are the people that you tithe to. That you tithe to. You give your hard-earned money to. And they teaching you something that they sure in the hell don't um, go by. This 2023, y'all. Y'all need to come up out these churches. Okay? Y'all need to come up out these churches. What they wanted it was for this feminine to give them money. But this feminine ain't giving them shit. And they could stick, they, they stick that in their pipe and smoke it. They going to jail. Because we have detectives here that have evidence and proof of what these people were trying to do to this divine feminine. It's a shame. It's a shame. It's a shame.
Look what we go through. Look at the darkness these narcissists bring in our life. Like I say, dealing with the narcissist is the darkest thing a woman can ever go through. And, and, and the type of people that are narcissists are people in these organizations, masons and stuff, Eastern stars. These people are narcissists. People that are looked at religious leaders, people that are looked up in the community. They're manipulators, they're shapeshifters, they're narcissists, and they do things behind the scene, hidden. So when you bring their shit to light, they be panicking, they, they scary like rats. And that's why this feminine has miracles coming away. Because she wouldn't let her go down and she fought these bastards. And she triumphed. Trying to bind her to him. This bastard trying to bind her in a relationship with him. Because she got miracles and blessings coming in her life. Let's look and see what's going on out here. Piss me off. You know what I'm saying? Now, you, she got the wheel of fortune. This is a divine feminine, honey. She done planted seeds, and now it's time for her to reap her harvest. And this water sign, you know what I'm saying, is over there looking stupid, staring at this earth angel. Why he looking stupid over here with this bitch? One of these bitches he got kids by. And she's screwing everybody, he's screwing everybody. He's in a miserable relationship. trying to pass off that he got a happy family. It's all an illusion because he's sleeping around with a whole lot of other women. And he wanted to use this feminine for resources. He's so immature and don't know how to get his own damn money. He just steal from people. And even though he's sleeping with all these other women, he want to sleep with this divine feminine. This divine feminine could be a Libra. Empress energy. He still want to sleep with his divine feminine because he know that this divine feminine is the key to the Ten of Pentacles. Makes me mad. She ended it with this bastard. And he mad because he don't want her to reject him. He and his feelings because he want to come out of the five of pentacles. He ain't got no money over there. And she got miracles and he wants some of that money. He's sending all smoke your way. And you ain't even paying attention to him. You're not fighting with him. Fight with him for what? You're not going to deal with him and that's it. What you going to fight with him for? And he's sitting over here looking stupid. Because everything he did did not work. Sending sexual energy her way. She don't want you. Trying to think if he could sling some dick her way that she going to um, open her pockets to him. But you're not going to get this Libra and she not giving you no money. Weak ass dude. Yeah. Sitting over there attacking a the divine feminine. This is a person that doesn't have faith in it. He don't, he don't hate on what he believe in God. But yet he sit up in the church and, and, and teach y'all about something that he don't even believe in. He don't believe in God. He'd rather do spell work because he figures that's a better result. And that's what he's been doing. Teaching the church something that he don't even believe in. Trying to get her to come back to him. But things didn't work out as he planned. And this feminine still going to have her will of fortune. Trying to stop her fortune because she don't want this stanky, funky ass. Him and these bitches in this group with they broke ass over there. Trying to use this feminine for her resources. Trying to sacrifice her, y'all. And he was the hit man. And when he, got, he went and got his bitches to do magic on her. So she can allow him to come into her and sleep with her. So he can plug into her creative energy and take it back over there to these wilted ass bitches. They can't manifest nothing. They has dead pussies, dead wounds. Take y'all ass to jail. The whole damn organization, all you Eastern Star bitches and all you Masons, go the fuck to jail. And simmer.
Ridiculous. Whole organization went up against one fucking female. And she still whooped their ass. Child think. Look at them, bitches. Look at these bitches over there. Doing magic on this feminine for this whole ass dude. Doing magic on this feminine for this whole ass dude. They thought they was going to get their wish fulfillment. They thought he was going to be able to sleep with her and get her energy and siphon it to these still dead pussy bitches. Ridiculous. Yeah. This feminine could be an earth sign, like I said. She could be a Libra. You know what I'm saying? Empress energy. Because she on her throne. We have 42 breaking down to a 6. She knows the truth. She knows that this is the person that she has a soul tie with. She knows that he was trying to, he did this because he wanted a reunion with her. She don't want his trick dick ass. So he gonna go do magic. Bitch ass dude. A lame ass dude. That ain't got no hairline. Fat as fuck. Teeth hanging out his fucking mouth. Shitting on the toilet all the time. A dope fiend, an alcoholic. And ugly as fuck. Spit when he talk. Breath stank. Sleep with anybody, have no sexual discipline, don't know how to save money, don't know how to do nothing, and he wants this empress to be with him. And knowing that she wouldn't, she would totally lower herself if she'd be with him. So he gonna get these bobblehead fine monkey bitches to do spell work on her. The same bitches that he's sleeping with, they got they, they, they lips pursed on his ass all day. But she's, you know, this feminine closed off. She resisted this magic these people were doing on her. She's closed off and she's guarded as she should be. Trying to get her in a contract. Want to get in on her career. You know what I'm saying? Trying to get her in a commitment. You know what I'm saying? So he could uh, suck a fool her, swindle her out of everything that she have. She ain't finna be in no contract with you. She ain't finna work with you. Duck neck ass. You and these chicken face ass bitches you got over here. Look at him. Want a reunion. Do you know this is somebody she has a soul tie with that's doing it to the her? And the divine gonna stick it to his ugly ass. That's right, feminine. You keep being cold and detach from this bastard. Detach from this bastard. You gonna be alright. Let me get some healing cords out here. Whole damn uh, fraternity and sorority up against this one feminine trying to get her to sleep with a dude that they fucking so they can get her energy and he can sacrifice her to this fucking demon that they worship. Ridiculous. Yeah, baby. But prayer works. Your prayer's been working and you pray for protection and you got it. Okay, you quit. You keep eating organically over there and taking care of yourself and nur nurturing your body and, you know, taking care of your temple. And they got you. They got you in the palm. They got you. They're nurturing you on their chest. Prayer work. All you had to do was ask and your soul family came and they regulated these asses. And they getting everything they fucking deserve. Don't worry about it, fam. You know what I'm saying? And that's a shame. The divine had to step in because they was trying to take this feminine's life. Trying to take this feminine's life. And now somebody's sick. Somebody's over there dying. Because they sent death magic towards this feminine and it went back to them. So somebody's over there dying. The divine had to take them out of here because they kept trying to take this divine feminine out of here. So the divine came in. And it was better you than her because she got a cause, a purpose here. And you ain't got shit. That's right. That's right. So don't worry about anything, fam. You all right. All right? 
I love all of y'all. And this is what I have for my Pisces. If you feel anybody could benefit from this video, ladies, please send it to them. And please protect yourself. Stay protected. Take your spiritual baths. Meditate. Drink your water. Eat organically from the vine. Because the way that you eat and, and the things that you put on your body and your temple, it helps a lot with warding off this magic. Okay? Thwarting off this magic. Okay? And just keep doing what you're doing. Stay devoted. Stay committed in your craft. Stay connected to your ancestors. Stay connected. Stay out in nature. You know what I'm saying? Stay rooted and grounded and balanced. And the universe has you. The universe has you. Don't be worried about this fucking band of gargoyles over here, these fucking eastern stars. You know what I'm saying? And this old upside down Sammy Davis Jr. looking ass dude over here. Don't worry about him. Okay? Because they get their head, they ass handed to them now. And they deserve everything they get. All right, ladies? I love y'all. And as I always end it, know thyself, know thyself, know thyself. But you see, going through things with people like this, you have to love yourself. That's the best protection you can have in order to save yourself. All right, ladies? I love y'all. And y'all be easy and stay prayed up and stay protected. Okay? I'll see y'all on my next video. Bye-bye.